Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 880 of Fallout 4. I, I, I know this isn't like a particular milestone or anything, but 880, man, that's what's 120 until a thousand. Damn. Anyway, 880 of Fallout 4. Last episode, we killed quote unquote Juliana, who is actually Ezra Parker in disguise. I don't know, this whole, this whole thing is getting weirder and weirder. There was embezzling going on, people were finding out about it, and, uh, well, somebody got their brain wackadoodle. Now I gotta go turn in the quest by talking to Maxwell, and it opened up another quest, so there's Brain Dead, Brain Dead Part 2. Which I'm not sure why Brain Dead's still active and Brain Dead Part 2's a thing, and I'm not sure why it says defeat Ezra Parker in Vault 118, because didn't... didn't... <laughs> this, the, the ruse gets even rusier. This, this isn't actually... Ezra, I don't know. We're gonna go find out. That is uh, the hope here. And I never really did finish up my things with Santiago, but anyway, hopefully you guys are, of course, enjoying the Fallout videos, and I do appreciate those of you taking the time to like the videos, and I'll thank you dudes for that support. Uh, do you have anything to say, by the way? Stop twitching. You always do that when I come here. Ooh, something sounded exciting, Detective. You didn't hear it. You didn't hear it. Ooh, something sounded you, you, exciting, You didn't hear it. Detective. That's an interesting dialogue line that he has. I wonder if other people are going to have some kind of input on here. And I wonder if the other robot guy is going to be mad that I killed his quote-unquote waifu. Not exactly that he liked her or anything, because she was kind of a total bitch, but... Yeah, man, don't marry a bitch. Like, I didn't have to deal with it. Easy. <laughs> Somebody else's problem. Hey, Keith, I plowed your girlfriend. Your robot is girlfriend. Is everyone alright? Yeah. Is everyone alright? Yeah. Is everyone alright? Yeah. Totally. Is Just don't put right? a black light on your girlfriend. Um, because that would make it awkward for both of us. Tee hee. Oh, hey, look. Uh, <laughs> hey. Uh, don't worry about it. Nice bow tie, by the way. Alright, I think I want to go up the floor, right? Can I go through this, by the way, or am I going to get, like, hooked? Oh, I totally can. Time saving. Not, like, not exactly sure what time I'm saving, but, uh, sure, I'll do that. Is there anybody want to talk up here? That's the overseer's doohickey, yeah? So I don't want to go that way. Uh, was there not somebody up here on this floor? Hmm, that takes me back down. This is going to be above Santiago. Yeah, I guess I'm ready just to... I guess I'm ready just to talk to Maxwell. Well, let's see what happens. Let's go talk to Maxwell, see what he says about the whole situation. Excuse me. Don't want to land on any robots. Good. Well, sorry, person. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word. I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened with... Oh, I was going to pull out my gun. Turns out Robo Brains can eat and I served him up a heaping helping of justice. He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus. For uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. Thanks, man. 400 pre-war monies. So now, there's Brain Dead Part 2. I like how they just all leave and they don't seem to care that, you know, there's still this, like, dead thing here. Like, a, just, a, just a brain. So completed Brain Dead. Uh... I have a feeling that maybe I did the quest so right that it... Yeah, right there. It could, okay, I have a feeling that if you do the quest wrong, and you pick the wrong person, you finger the wrong person. Not, not like finger, like stick your wiener or your finger anywhere. Come on, guys, don't... No, but like, may, maybe like, you get the wrong person, you kill the wrong person, you blame the wrong... Maybe you blame Santiago, for example. Then Brain Dead Part 2 is a quest, and then you can also complete that. So I got a bonus, I guess, for doing it right, maybe? I guess? I guess that's what the game kind of had in mind? So as far as I'm concerned, I think we're done in here? Unless anybody has anything to say? I mean, I tell I want to go talk to what's-his-face over here, Riggs. Be like, hey, dude, your wife's dead, right? What was that? What was that? His wife? What was like commotion? Oh. What was like commotion? I feel like they're glitched out. What was like commotion? Oh, okay. Well, I want to test something. Hold still. I'm going to plug my pit boy in your butthole. <laughs> in sight. You gonna you gonna go you gonna go beat something up? Are you supposed to like go beat something up? In sight. Inject the hundred percent corner combat inhibition. Injecting subroutine. 
Uh, this, um, no, I thought he was supposed to like go fight things. I just shut him down. I just shut him down. Okay, I probably shouldn't do that. That's that's kind of mean. I'll reactivate him. All right, you go do your thing. What was all that commotion? I love how I can just hack all the robot people here. <laughs> like, hey guys. Uh, well, I guess we're done. Yeah, I mean, besides maybe the occasional item that might be in here that I can still take that isn't considered theft, I guess we're ready to go. Let me see, can I take this? No, this is theft. I'm probably not gonna worry about too many items in here if they're all gonna be considered a theft like that. There's like a bathroom back here or something like that that I can kind of steal from. I can pick pretty much no all of these little display cases. Everything got it, you. But but even then, there's really nothing in them of subs of substance, so I don't think it's gonna be worth too much. I'll take the pocket watch. I'll take the ammo. Alarm clock. Some fancy new items, things that haven't been like busted up. That's not considered theft. Not theft. I wonder why I can take these things, but I can't take certain. Like, What's the reasoning behind that? Why I can take some, but not all? The game's weird. So I guess this means we're done with Vault 118. This was kind of a... I'm not even come in here. This was kind of a weird one. This was kind of a really, really weird... That was quite the commotion. Did you need something? Let me talk to you yet. Forgot a personal item at home. What have you got? Keepsakes, hunting equipment. Oh. Looking for a gift to bring... You're a merchant. I'll take a look. Sure. Let me know if you. It's a vendor. Okay, that's kind of cool. Do I have any garbage? Like here, here's the pool cue I just picked up. Chef hat. Okay. Suits and things that I don't need. Dresses that I've picked up from around here. Suspender and slacks. A hat that I don't need. Sure. I mean, all right, I'll take it. Now, do you have anything good? The dapper gent reduces damage from robots by 15%. That's kind of funny and not worth five thousand four hundred dollars. Request for detective. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but I'll take it. Request for detective. Does this maybe activate a quest? So let's scroll on down here. I never saw that. Do I have, like, two of those? Maybe, like, maybe, I don't know if that's related to the, the original quest. Let's, let's see here. Request for detective. Request for detective. As our attempts to contact the local law enforcement have gone unanswered, I have taken upon myself to send out one of our staff, Pearl, to find someone equal to the task. There has been a mysterious death at the Cliss Edge Hotel, and we are not equipped to perform a proper inquiry. Our residents believe there has been foul play and request that you send a detective to investigate. Maxwell, head of staff, Cliffs Edge Hotel. So that was obviously, like, what we just did. Alright, no, that was an interesting read. I would love to be taking all these things. Like, don't mind me just knocking over all your stuff. Ooh, that was totally a safe. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. I don't like to steal things in the game because people get weird and NPCs get weird when you try and sell them stolen goods and Bethesda games. Ah, I just don't feel like dealing with it. So I think we're ready to go. But yeah, like, it's kind of a weird, kind of a weird vault. Almost felt like it was kind of just tacked onto the DLC. I don't know, it, was, it wasn't really anything huge and of amazing substance. It was kind of just like a silly murder mystery with a teensy bit of dialogue. And a robot hand job here and there. Which again heard about the experiment. That was weird. Did in places like this. Human decency must have been in short supply back then. This, however, is new. I did not come here. I'm glad I decided to take a look. Are we like detected by anything? Can there what if there can be enemies out here? What is this? Are they like bringing is this maybe supposed to be a part of the like the 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 group B like the poorer people kind of group. I mean, obviously this is a garage. Maybe they brought like the rich people's cars and shit here. I, I don't know. But is this? I don't know. Maybe this is supposed to tie into it because we obviously don't saw, didn't see anything of that, and we read mention of like they didn't get a chance to finish it. Well, this keeps going up. So yeah, let's investigate this before we go. Yeah, I don't know. Like with, with just that, it felt like a very tiny little, not much to do vault. Kind of got through that in essentially an episode. So it wasn't really. Much substance there, but alright. Pretty interesting, I suppose. I wasn't expecting a vault in, uh, in Far Harbor to begin with, so whatever. Is there anything over here? Why would they lead me all the way around? They led me all the way around for nothing, and at least nothing that I'm finding. Is the door is this way? No, it's that layer. I'm sorry, Longfellow, I kind of fell. Yeah. What's, what's going on in this part? This blight? Ooh, that's a lot of blight. I feel like I'm going to be jumped by a ghoul. Or something. I feel like something's gonna jump Dark. me. 
Cause the night time sea. Uh, there's there's no sea here, man. Or we're, we're underground, bro. <laughs> we're underground in a steel bunker, my dude. Or at least part of a steel bunker. I'll take more of that blight. I still don't know what this is even for. Crafting material wise, I haven't really looked into it too much. Okay, it's got a couple blight there. Some cement and what's behind this door? Interesting. We're kind of detected, but I don't know if that's in relation to the robots we've been seeing. Maybe maybe they're just past the walls or what. There might be something down here. What? Just a dead end? Really? Come on, look, look, look. get, 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 get. Hey. Yeah. On. Yeah. Over here. I can do that. Okay, do it. Don't tell me you can do it. Do it. Is there like a switch or? We're very faintly detected, but like I said, it could just be the robot NPC through the walls. None of this is interactable. Really? Just a random dead end because, again, they were unfinished doing this and said that they never got a chance to do it, so maybe that's what this is in relation to. Okay. I guess we're done here. Oh, I'll take that. I, oh, is that a cement bag? That's the, am I hearing gunfire? You hear that? That sounded like gunfire. Like laser fire. The hell would be shooting lasers? Uh, are going back there? Maybe trip something? Hold on, while I try and loot. Okay, I can't take those. Oh! It was the... It was the arc, the, like the reactor here. Commencing lawful use Ooh. of maybe? deadly force. No? I thought maybe that it was the, like the little, hold on, local map. That's not really gonna help me, like, what is it, over... Over here-ish or something like that? I thought it might have... Actually, no, it'd be down here. I thought it was the reactor making that pop-off noise. But I, I hear it, people are fighting. Bert went crazy? Oh, it's because I incited Bert. I'm sorry, Bert. That makes sense. So he would attack anything other than me and an ally. I was kind of curious. Yeah, well, let's shut down Bert and see if they still well on him. Yeah, everyone just... Hey, Bert alone. He, uh, he, he lost his wifey. You know, he's a little bit angry. Uh, Bert, you're gonna have to sit here and think about your actions, my dude. <laughs> That's kind of funny that, like, all of a sudden that started popping off. Because <laughs> I hacked him and incited him. <laughs> you know, that reminds you, there is a legendary Protectron in here. Hey. Protect. I wonder if I can get away with killing you. Shut down. Initiates. Okay. And Do sir. I get credit for a self destruct? Does this count as I did something bad? Or, like, will they just Do not know? Yeah, I'm probably gonna get in trouble for that. As far as I can tell, you know, he attacked me first. But it doesn't seem that they discriminate. It seems that they all realize that I did it. Ooh, cloaking. Oh, it's poopy. It's poopy. I don't know why I even said ooh. I had to test it for science. It's not like I ever go around hacking enemies. <laughs> it's not like I do that all day. Not very often. Okay, now now we know. You, uh, you initiate a robot... Uh, his self-destruct, and yeah, you get credit for that. You you get yelled at. You get in trouble for it. So, as far as I'm concerned, good day to you. Hello there. Nothing else to say. I think we're good. I think we're ready to leave. This was an interesting distraction, and there was a lot more to Cliff's Edge Hotel than I initially expected. It was pretty fun. It was pretty fun being here. But let's get back to the uh, to the overworld. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this. This hell hole, this pit, this hole in the ground. I think we're working our way west. And I'm pretty sure we're really close to Far Harbor. I'm like, my inventory's full, but I think we might be closer to another settlement. I kind of want to check that, see if I can use this opportunity to get myself and Longfellow underweight. And it would likely be a good idea to sleep. I don't remember how long I was down there, but it'd be a good idea to sleep, eat and drink, and things like that, because my AP and my refresh is bad. Don't I have a disease? Yeah, uh, I have insomnia. Because I think I have one antibiotic on me. I, I need to craft some more. We ran out of them. Just, you know, walking through water, getting hit by the occasional enemy, just sleeping in general, you almost always get a disease. Like, you wake up and all of a sudden you've got a disease. It's, it's pretty, pretty annoying. But we can deal with it. We just gotta craft it. And here's the hole in the window that we... Like, this is a hole that I saw forever ago, and I was wondering, hey, can I go there? Check the map. Uh, yeah, there's the National Parks Visitor Center right there. So we can continue west a little bit more, hit up our settlement, stock up, and go from that point. So I'm going to wait for my AP just to 
flipped it. Oh, come on, game. I, like, bopped my head and it wouldn't let me go. Now, you know what? We're, go we're going to the ground. I wanted to fly around, but you know what, game? Have it your way. <laughs> You're getting what you want. I'm on the ground. You happy now? So we must go west. We must go toward the grid. Toward, uh, what is it over here? What is it? The Eagles Cove Tannery and yeah, that thing. And let's begin gridding it out once again. That was a neat little pit stop. It was definitely a neat little uh, unexpected pit stop. Kind of tempted to just eat and drink on the fly to get the AP back, but seeing as I'm so close to the settlement, I don't think it's worth it. So now we have to resume paying attention to our surroundings, opposed to being locked in a narrow hallway, a narrow little corridor, or series of corridors, and talking to robots. That was an interesting little distraction. I do say so myself. What is that? Is that north? Yeah, then I've been there. Actually, hold on. That's the National Park camping ground. Yeah, I, I gotta go there. Or visitor ground or whatever. This is where I gotta go. I gotta drop my shit off. I'm coming. Uncle Ken, I'm sorry. You're not here. I'm coming to your old place, dude. I'll, I'll take care of it. Actually, I can't settlement build at the moment. You can blame Bethesda. Let's keep up the end of your game over and over and over and over again with Creation Club content, not actual content. Not actual bug fixes. Therefore, my script or doohickey mabobber does not currently work. Blazing board, bear trap, I don't need those. The fence buster. And just depositing my junk, I got myself underweight, which is a pretty good deal. So, ammo. Let's get rid of the oddball ammo types that I don't need. 45. I do need 45. So, how much am I taking out of here? Maybe I'll just take 200. We'll call 200 good. 50, 10 mil, 556. Five, don't need, don't need, don't need. I got all these random fusion cores. Might run out of fusion cores here soon. Don't want you, don't want you. Do you have any antibiotics? Uh, you do. Maybe I accidentally put my antibiotics away. Because I usually have more. I usually have like six or seven on me. Five, six, seven, something like that. I think I probably did that on accident, actually. I already the blunt. Let's get rid of the jet. Instant hash carrots. Yeah, just, just all of this garbage. The poach angle. I'll be eating that here in a second. I'll be drinking some water. Definitely get rid of the blight. Potted meat. Oh god, the whole potted meat side story. Wine and whiskey. Potato crisps. Almost under 200 pounds. I had to take a little bit of extra ammo, so that explains it. I think I'm good. Like, I think I'll just sleep and we'll leave. Well, we'll pop the antibiotics, eat and drink, you know, but we'll sleep and leave. Cool. Let's do that. And then that, now, now that, like, now this way I can sprint. I'm gonna save and hope to god they don't steal my power armor. You guys have any beds up here? Like, where was Uncle Ken sleeping? Uh, hey, Uncle Ken, did you not have an actual bed? Good job, Uncle Ken. I'll give your house a bed. So, here you go, dude. Furniture, beds... You know what? We'll give you the fanciest of the fancy. So, I do not currently have place anywhere. I cannot do what I like most in settlement building. Placing anywhere. Whew, I'm gonna sleep for a while to make it 6 a.m. Hopefully I don't wake up with some kind of problem going on here. And then we'll... Then we'll use all of our, our drugs and foodsies and get ourselves fixed up, ready to go. Mm, so yeah, we're aiming for 6 a.m. But it'll be nice to be able to sprint again, because it's been a little bit since I sprinted. Being in that stupid hotel, man. I think I'll stop it at 5 a.m. like that, because... Oh, I am ravenous. Grrr, from a lack of food. Help defend the Croup Manor. So Croup Manor can't defend itself. The marina, which is one of my best settlements, probably the best. Definitely the fanciest, and definitely one of the most well-defended, especially given the fact that it has a complete wall around it with turrets. has no reason to fail, but you and I both know that the game will fail the quest, because the game doesn't do settlement attacks very right. <laughs> Still mildly dehydrated, if you just spam me a few times. Dangerous. Don't trust them. Yeah, I don't trust them either, they're all crazy. I mean, technically, let's be honest here, you guys are all kind of crazy. I'm ravenous, still a little bit hungry. Good. We are filled up. So I want to go south about here-ish, then resume my gridding and full-blown third person and get back to it. Is this my gun loaded? Because I put the ammo away. Let's check here. You loaded. You're loaded. All right, so we're, 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 uh, we're, we're ready to go. We're cocked and locked, shall we say. So west. Am I about in the grid? Almost not quite. Let's just get over here. Let's get a good purchase, a good foothold before we really set down just that, that straight line nonsense. I think we're I think we're in the clear. So let's stay up above these rocks. It's got a pathway here. What's, uh, what's, what's going on over there? You got any of those things? Ah, I can use my jetpack now. <laughs> I can now walk and also gain AP. 
Ah, oh, oh, not being overweight. There's a little shit shack, little shed, some blight there. I'm not too worried about it. National Park HQ. Is this a part of the National Park thingy? Hmm, this is technically in the next grid, so you know what? I'm not gonna get too into it. Oh, I never discovered it. I've just had it marked by talking to people. That's pretty cool. Piece of like a trucker or something here, a bus. Looks like a truck. Like a trailer, actually. What is this? We're slightly detected. Nothing on the sign. Eh, jump! Who's detecting me? What's detecting me? Seemingly nothing. So, I mean, I'm finding some crab shacks. The one, unfortunately, was south of the grid. This is new. And we're slightly detected here. That's a long fellow movement. I thought I heard a ghoul walking. Thought I heard a ghoul walking. We'll get some random mons that ends here. I'll probably jump up on the roof to get a good vantage point, I think. Small saucepan. Saucepan! I'm gonna make me some ramen noodles. That's what I do. I just use like a little saucepan. I mean, should I made ramen today, dude? Hell yeah, man. Cheap packs of ramen. Throw an egg in that bitch. Maybe uh, heat up some bacon if you got it. some leftover chicken. That's how you make yourself some banging ass ramen. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, front door? Okay, no, no, no traps. Like, I kind of figured something would be wired here to blow. Boy, how do we are really detected. Aha! Uh -huh. Running feral gold. Do I need crits? I do not. Hold still, good sir. I'm going to shoot you right in the butt. Ooh, he didn't like that. That, that went oh, into a not were. so good spot. I'll put a bullet in you quick. Oh, thanks, man. What level are you? So landing on your head would not be good to kill you, um, Longfellow. Quit your hiding. Okay, I was I was gonna kill him, but Take did Longfellow cripple him? Like almost crippled his left arm. He's bullying him. Get him, Long. He just took his arm off. Dude, I feel bad not having paid Our tickets to the boy. show. Dude, Longfellow just disarmed the man. Literally and figuratively. What else is he attacking? He he, he almost broke his other. I want to see Longfellow break all of the guy's arms. This, this is a <laughs> this is a straight up cage match. Look at this. Longfellow just disarmed him completely. The only damage he's being ta he's being given. Oh god, he's twitching. As if the feral gold tries to bite him. Oh, I'll shoot him because I kind of want the XP. Doesn't look like I got credit for the kill. But that was pretty great. That was a sh that was a straight up cage match yes. between Longfellow and some random ghoul. You that was that was great. He's going to he's going to, he's going to tickle your nose. You can pick your nose and you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your friend's nose. I I beg to differ. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Get out of here! Something still detecting me. There must be another ghoul nearby. Must be another gold nearby, or there may be an animal in the woods. Aha! There he is, right in the face. Ah, uh, probably because I wasn't sitting down, I wasn't sneaking. <laughs> Kick his ass! <laughs> I do no melee damage! Oh, oh. Exercise, apparently I do enough melee damage, because I just took his head off. And I knew it! I would take a single fucking hit, and I would get lethargy. Alright, you guys gotta fix that shit. I hate that, you pop an antibiotic and then in two minutes you gotta pop another one because your character's got zero immunity. I'm just constantly getting diseases. Whatever. What a waste of an antibiotic. That's all good. That's all good. So this is me going south. I do not currently want to go south. In fact, I actually need to get my butt north a bit and then head back over west and complete the grid. We can visit that in the National uh, Park Visitor HQ or whatever doohickey here coming up. Let's try to avoid landing in the water. So what is this little... I feel like I might have been in this before. This little shack. What's this? Am I detected at all? No, I'm not. This looks like Trapper to me. The outhouse is all sorts of torn up. Somebody had a bad taco night. I, thought, I saw that leaf and I thought somebody jumped off the roof right there. Yeah, the corner of my eye. Oh, is this the, um... Is this the cabin, maybe, that I... No, I don't think this is. There's a cabin that I was in, and then those wolves, like, circled me and attacked. I don't think this is it. No, I think I was somewhere else. Never mind. Random scribblings on some posters. Nothing really much here. I feel as if... 
Ah, I remember these like generators or whatever these things are supposed to be. I remember being here. Okay, I have been here. All right, that confirms it. That's good. It's good to know. Good to be able to confirm that, so you're not like, oh, did I or didn't I not? Did I not? I don't. I don't know what I did. What did I do again? What day is it? No, I'm good. I'm in the clear. Is this the tannery? This is maybe the tannery? Yeah, the Pulaski thing. This is the tannery. So we've been here. We have looted this. I think it's time to drop the grid. Go south again. This is actually toward Far Harbor. It also has the Commonwealth right there. Let's move the marker to this point and get our butts on over here. New grid time. However, it is time to rent the episode up here, guys. Episode 880. Fallout 4, we're done in Vault 118. There's 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 20 episodes until 900, and then 120, or well, not 100, but another 100, and we hit a thousand. My God, that is crazy, my dudes. That is, that is crazy stuff to think about. But again, wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.